come together against the forecast and everything and down this magic mile here Sail Rocket just gave us a taste of still what's to come if these little numbers here can be trusted that makes us the fastest boat ever B class world record, Walvis Bay course record, Australian record and like I've got another 5 degrees of wing to come another 2 degrees we peaked at 49 knots, the boat felt awesome. It's come together, all the work is coming together, it's all coming to a point. It's just, I don't know what to feel, I don't know what to think. I always thought it was going to be on some desolate remote beach here with a few members of the team. This is never going to be a stadium spot with thousands of people. But up there in that little sugar cube, we got all our closest friends and best supporters following us on the uh, live vlog so a lot of them are here feeling our uh, well feeling our enjoyment but that's a special moment but the reason it's not totally overwhelming is because there's more to come there's an outright world record sitting in that boat might need another knot or two over today but my god we've just had payback that's one of the most significant boats in speed sailing history it's a totally new concept it was stable. The peak speed was 48.9 knots and the average was 47.35. None of these big flash high numbers and the low averages. This is steady. The 500 metre course is all about a steady state, a stable run. And that's what this boat is about. from Campbell. everywhere and I just made sure I could I was thinking as I was flying make sure you can get out of this make sure you can get out of this but uh it's a no seat belt the no seat belt policy gets a thumbs up surprised I didn't drop out of it in bed <laughs> so um when, when did you first realize something's going wrong for when I was upside down in the middle of the air no it was, was it, no no smart ass comments it no, was, was uh, that was that the hardest acceleration you'd ever felt she took off I mean she took off at 47 8 knots and she took off alright. I, I don't know how high it was but I was angled like high. that going up for a while. That yeah, was yeah, yeah. that was freestyle. That was something uh, if you want to beat windsurfers you've got to act like windsurfers. But, oh look I'm spewing. That was going to be a 50 knot run. That was going to tear a new arsehole in speed sailing and uh, but obviously not. It, it, it was too light at the front. Need to stand the, rig, stand the rig up a bit more. The boat mightn't be as bad as it looks. It's sunk. The main structure's in good shape, the main section of the wing's in good shape, the flaps are obviously screwed, but we'll go back and assess this back on the beach and this speed attempt isn't over. We know what we can do to make that front end stick down, but my god, she took off. That was, uh, we've been in this position for, before, we can come back from this. It's going to be a funny old drink of champagne tonight, because we've got the world's fastest boat and the world's most broken boat. But, uh... At least we got some records under our belt, so... God, if only the next... The, the beam's fine. Next run. The beam's fine. Yeah, I think most of the structure's we, fine. We, yeah, we e even, even the strut's fine. We thought we saw it snap halfway. We've broken a bit of the shear web down the bottom here. Right, it's pretty... Let's have, have a bit of a look.
Right, uh, here we go. Well, let's hope the data out of the GPS justifies this bottle over this poor cracked bow with a wonderful Vesta sail rocket. Goes this fine bottle of champagne. It's been a long, long time coming. The world's fastest boat, I hope. The dream come true. We're still not to the top of the mountain. Of our cork collection, we've had the 40 knot one. There's a uh, two world records, one course record, and a uh, boat world record there. So that's uh, that's the that's the finest. 